Good morning. My name is Gomes. I'm from Portugal, Porto, from a uh, Faculty of Engineering of University of Porto. And uh, uh, I'm here to present, uh, um, well, the, uh, some experiments for the quantification of initial stress. Uh, so uh, I will uh, begin with the introduction. Uh, how type, which type of stresses we are interested to analyze? Then I will make some points about the experimental details, and I will show some results about uh, those stresses types. Well, uh, let uh, let me uh, explain uh, or show you. A, um, a graph about how leaf springs are made. Well, we can see that uh, leaf springs uh, needed to be uh, formed in order to uh, to get the um, the, the geometry specifications. Okay, then then they are uh, treated by, for example, kenching and tempering, and the uh, peak width, and finally they are uh, the, the surfaces are shot pinned. Um, in the shot pinning, pin um, we have uh, we have um, shot pin induces a, a compressive residual stresses in in the surfaces. These residual stresses are very benefit for fatigue life because uh, because the fatigue life tends to increase. But if if we introduce um, a bending press stress, uh, and then we apply shot pinning, that life can be more increased. Okay. Uh, this is one type we are interested uh, to study. Another type are uh, the assembling uh, stresses introduced by the assembling uh, uh, procedure of the leaves. We, we can see here, uh, let me point, uh, that there is a, uh, a gap between each leaf. So when uh, we assemble them, we are bending them, so we are into introducing another kind of stresses. So, and how can we um, determine this kind of stresses? For uh, assembling stresses, we can use, uh, as I as I called, uh, stress relief method. In this in this kind of method, we need to use uh, strain gauges uh, to uh, to collect the the deformation on the surface while uh, the while the leaf springs is re relieving. Oh, uh, okay. We we can see here that the spring buckle is is cut previously, uh, previously the test. Okay. And uh, what about uh, and uh, about the result stresses by shot pinning? Well, we can use X-ray diffraction method. Okay, in order to get the the surface uh, surface result stresses, we can determine the profile of this kind of stresses, uh, analyze layer by layer. Okay, you can see here that we, there is a vault that okay in this all we analyzed in a, in a, in a, each removed layer uh, the magnitude of stresses in order to determine the the profile. So uh, about the the results, um, as you can see here, that um, that from the, the the stress relief method, there is um, there is a um, high magnitude of uh, initial stresses induced by assembly. We can see here the different uh, where the the magnitude is maximum. The maximums occur in this zone. Okay. We can see here that there is, uh, well, a large amount of displacement applied to a sample of the leaf spring. And what uh, and uh, about the shot pinning process? Okay, we we, we can see here we, we can analyze four points. Okay, we can uh, we can see here the profile of the residual stresses for each point. Uh, this profile is. 
uh, is made by a regression uh, of this uh, function. This is a sinusoidal decay function where the parameters are determined by the square method according to the Levenberg Mankwards algorithm. And well, we, we can uh, observe uh, that point one is where the magnitude is lower. And why? Because in, in these spots, uh, the the pre-bending stress is lower than the other ones. Okay, and we we can and this is proved analyzing point six and twelve. Okay, this point and this. In these points, we have a higher pre-bending stress applied. Okay, uh, in the point ten. Sorry, this is a mistake. This point is here, but in point ten we have um, because because the geometry in this point. Sorry. This point, the geometry is uh, the thicker uh, is thicker, and uh, well, we have um, a lesser magnitude of stresses. Okay, and uh, an another result that we can uh, observe is uh, the difference if when you analyze the compulsive residual stresses in the longitudinal directions or in the, the transversal directions. We can see here using the same formula, that uh, there is a difference. And the difference depends the zone where we are analyzing the residual stresses. So uh, we, can, we can observe that, uh, for example, in point one, the difference is, is uh, inferior than the other ones. That is that's is because the effect um, of pre-branding stress, OK? These, the this difference is higher because uh well let's let's think about our um our um a leaf is bender okay we don't have uh we don't have uh, mainly um transversal deformation so we we only have longitudinal deformation so we only have the the effect of pre-branding stress on the longitudinal deformation. So we got this difference. And, uh, and, one, and uh, uh, with, with this slide, I want to show you how important it is to, um, to consider the result stresses and initial stress state in the fatigue, uh, fatigue life. You can see here, uh, if you consider two points, OK, uh, point 0.1 and point 0.6, for example, uh, we got the diagram. We consider the, the superposition principle. Uh, we got an increase on fatigue limit of around five, uh, around fifty percent. Okay, this is a huge increase in fatigue. Right. To conclude, um, well, using the stress relief method. We uh, we see that uh, we we have uh, uh, we have um, assembling stresses varying along length uh, leaf lengths. Uh, we matching around minus uh, two hundred seventy megapascal. Uh, we do X-ray diffraction method uh, also varies along the, the leaf lengths with a maximum around minus nine hundred megapascal. And uh, we, we saw that uh, the, using the superposition uh, principle, uh, considering the residual in assembly stresses, it was obtained in, in, in around uh, 50%. So as, con uh, the, the, as concludes this presentation, uh, the, uh, the initial stress states can take a very important role for sophisticated structural designs. And uh, the, this slide is to show uh, an, another part that we need to take into account. That is the surface by shot pinning. We got, uh, using shot pinning can induce a high level of roughness. This roughness level needs to be considered in, um, in fatigue life predictions, okay? So we need at least these three points considered. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, I'd like to, to thank you also for my 
my professors uh, presented ear ear uh, without them, without uh, their efforts it's it it wasn't impossible to to be uh, this work so I